Hey everybody, it's Mucha Marapa from Matrix Global Media and in this video what I'd like to do is talk to you about a recent incident that I saw in a, in a big event and it couldn't help remind me of something that you've got to be very aware of with your new Facebook timeline. Over here in Europe we're currently enjoying a, a, a soccer competition, the European Championships and in one match that was played a, a week or so ago, one of the players uh, for a country I won't mention at the moment, uh, after scoring a goal, lifted up his shirt and on the sort of top end of his underwear, he had the name of a bookmaker, uh, you know, an, a, a, a prominent bookmaker over here in Britain and Ireland. And um, the authorities came down on him like a ton of bricks. He got fined, I believe it's in the region of £80,000, about $125,000 for doing that. And the term ambush marketing for us marketers basically means uh, when a business, when a company, an organization, uh, a, a, a cause, use a platform for which they have not quote unquote you know, paid for during through the, the traditional methods and they use that uh, via a sort of you know, third party method to get their message out and of course in this situation this company uh, clearly gave this player some money to if he scored lift up and there it was all written down there and they really came down on him like a ton of bricks. Now, naturally, there are two trains of thought about that. Some people think, wow, that's brilliant, very smart to do. And then, of course, the sponsors that have paid good money for the event and the organizations, not to mention the federation of the team that this player was playing on, have seriously frowned on it. It didn't go down very well. And it got me thinking, with uh, so much of social media, there is an opportunity for others to come and basically ambush your page by spamming for want of a better word and what we mean is just coming on a page just talking about their own business sending you off to a link to their page and so on and so forth and you really need to be fiercely protective of this now there is a fine line the fine line is on one side you want to encourage in uh, uh, collaboration you want to encourage engagement you want to encourage people to come on and contribute but as painful as it says you've got to be quite selfish in, in what you allow to be said if it makes any sense so if you are indeed in my case I'm looking to try and teach people to become better marketers via their Facebook timeline so if what you have to say or contribute or any images you want to post have to do with that I would be delighted to have you as part of the community however if you're on the page and you're just looking to sort of talk about your own product and, 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 and blatantly sell and spam, uh, I'll get rid of you. You won't be here for any length of time. Now, this mustn't be confused with feedback, okay, uh, positive or otherwise, because uh, since I started this page, I've had two situations where I've basically deleted comments. One was uh, somebody who had a personal uh, gripe with me a very legitimate gripe with me might I add and while I felt his um, concerns were valid and they were taken on board I just thought this platform was not appropriate for him to voice those particular concerns uh, we spoke offline or we communicated offline but he still sort of proceeded to do it so I deleted his comments and banned him from the page for that reason it's just that the platform wasn't correct if he had something to say positive negative or otherwise about this offering and what we were doing hey I would have let let it alone secondly I had a situation where someone just came on and just had no desire whatsoever to contribute at all to the page and just started sort of saying oh look I've got this on or this occasions taking place and this events going on and would love to have you and he was gone as well so with your timeline the manner in which I teach you is very much for you to create that hungry buying audience there on your page you've got to get to know those people there so you can craft your messages according to who they are uh, what bothers them what uh, problems they need to solve and then you can highlight that your product can indeed do that so therefore you must be very very strict with what you allow to go onto your page by all means take constructive criticism customer service issues if need be uh, all that sort of feedback is absolutely fine However, do not allow somebody to come onto your page and basically ambush it, to spam it. You've got to be very, very strong with that. And to be fair, I see it all throughout social media, not just on Facebook. Um, earlier on in the year when I was getting quite active in LinkedIn, I could not believe the number of groups that are set up with a specific uh, topic or tone. Just get bombarded with people trying to sort of sell different stuff when 
all the sort of mediators looking for is some healthy competition, a conversation rather, on best practice and other things. So once again, do not allow people to ambush market your Facebook timeline. Be ultra protective of it. And if you really want to sort of go up to that next level, find people in your industry uh, who may even be deemed as competitors to you. Go onto their page, contribute, really give them some great kudos. And you'll be surprised how people will see you commenting on their page and they will go to your page and they will like it. And it's as simple as that. So I hope this has helped you. As always, I would love to hear your comments and get your feedback. And in the meantime, just keep going on with this Facebook timeline because I know it will deliver great value. And uh, if nothing else, sign up for the training that I've got that's available at fbtimelinemarketing.com. And let's see you go to that top 1% of all marketers on this new Facebook timeline. We'll speak again soon.